What's happening y'all? Welcome to another episode of Red Oak Outdoors. My name is Aaron Royster and it is a beautiful, beautiful day down here in southern New Mexico. I'm a little tired, a little worn out. It's been a very busy week, but hey, it's Saturday, it's the weekend. I'm worn out. I've been exercising, been riding my bike and everything. I don't know. If, I'm not going to put any of those videos up because they're not that great. Not gonna lie. I had recorded like some bike bike riding and everything. It just wasn't wasn't very entertaining. I didn't I didn't really think it was all that entertaining anyway. But anyway, that is beside the point. I am sore, my body hurts, so I'm kind of taking it a little easy today. Um, but it's springtime, it's calving season, birthing season for a lot of animals, which means predator hunting is good. So um for those of you who don't know me, who aren't familiar with me, um, fishing is not my first love, although it is one of my many passions, but uh, shooting and hunting is definitely uh, my my first love of the outdoors. I love shooting, I love hunting, especially predator hunting. So um, I need to make sure that my guns are sighted in. I know for a fact that this puppy here um, if you guys have seen my very first uh, upload on YouTube, you've seen this gun in a little bit different, uh, a little bit different form. I've changed it up just a little bit uh, since that very first video. It has a, a different trigger, um, different scope, and the offset iron sights uh, got a little worn out. So uh, I took those off. I'm going to replace those eventually. Not anytime soon, I don't think, but. Uh, eventually I will replace those but we got to sight this puppy in because I had a 22 convert Ugh. can't talk I had a 22 conversion kit in this guy here uh, for a good portion of the year back when I was doing the hunter gatherer challenge back in January um, if you guys haven't seen any of those videos you should probably check them out they're pretty cool uh, basically throughout the entire month of January I could only eat what I could catch or harvest myself. So I had 22 conversion kit in this old pew here and um, I shot like two rabbits and that was it. That's all I could find. But um, I need to get this thing set back in for the 223s um, so we can, you know, take some bigger game. And then I also have this guy here. Uh, this is my 17 HMR. It is the Savage A17. Thing is, this thing is a beast. I love this gun. Um, I've taken many animals with this thing. It's it's pretty cool. Um, but I'll, I mean, I do have a couple issues with it, but uh, I'm not a gun review channel, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just want to make sure this one side, this one shouldn't be too bad. The 17 should be, should still be pretty dialed, but I do want to just make sure that everything's cool. Um, but I'm saying over here at the short ranges, we have the long range over there there's a couple other trucks and stuff parked over there but i know that uh if i go over there and you know i'll i'll just to sight in i'll sight in you know at 100 yards over there and then it'll be cool get dialed in and then i'll be like well now that i'm sighted in at 100 i can go ahead and hit that 500 yard target no problem and then i'll just start wasting a bunch of ammunition and that's not what i'm here for right so i'm trying to walk in self-control luckily um i only brought just a little bit of ammunition just enough I actually think I brought more than enough to get sighted in, uh, but I don't really want to burn through all of it. I had a lot get stolen from me last year. That's another story. But anyway, um, kind of rambling at this point. So I'm actually going to go to another booth. I just decided to come sit here in the shade, uh, be able to display these guys here a little bit better. I did find um, a block and a golf ball that I could shoot to, which is cool. Um, but anyway, I'm going to bring these over to another lane. A little bit farther that has the has a nice shooting bench and I have a, a rest a very simple shooting rest that I can use just to get these things sighted in um, I'm gonna sight both of them in at about 50 yards I think that's about as far as these lane or as long as these lanes are I think it's like between like 45 and 50 yards um, for the one that I'll be shooting at so that'll be perfect for the 17 uh, but it'll be good enough to at least get this one on paper for when I do decide to come out and uh, push uh, get it dialed in a little bit farther but i think for um for what we're doing today it'll be it'll be just fine so anyway i'm done rambling i will see you guys over in the other lane all right folks we have made it to this other lane i found this little broken uh five gallon bucket here there's a ton of other trash but i went ahead and i sprayed a little little dot on there this will give a little bit of a contrast and yeah I'm just gonna stick it in there. I think this little little piece of a bucket might work pretty good. 
but then we have this little tent looking thing right here next to my truck that's about 50 yards away I think we'll give it a give it a shot from there should be pretty good should be pretty good all right I think we're about ready you guys will notice I do shoot left-handed too so it's gonna be a little a little different maybe for some of you guys seeing this but every time I shoot with folks they are like wow I didn't know you shot left-handed all right let's see here now this gun I will say this okay uh, the magazines are the worst part about this gun. Oh, those guys are shooting big guns over there. Um, but yeah, the magazines, they wear out like every like 200 rounds. This one is pretty much toast. So it's, it, it doesn't latch on. It doesn't latch in very well. And it's, it's just frustrating. It is a frustrating gun. So if you're looking at buying a 17 HMR, I would say steer clear from the Savage A17. Go with the... Uh, any bolt action 17 HMR over this one. Uh, but this thing is a tack driver. It's super accurate. Other than the magazine not feeding well, I mean, this thing is, I mean, it's pretty, pretty rad. Pretty rad. All right, let's, uh, all right, we're zoomed in. Take our first shot right on that deal there. I'm gonna have to try and hold the magazine in while I shoot that way it cycles. That was one shot. Two. Three. All right. I can't see anything from here. So let's go. Let's go down and look at the. Go look at our target. All right, it looks like all of the shots are a little high. High into the left. This one was like dead, dead center, but these are the last two. I saw those ones. So we're about, you know, I would say two inches high, two inches to the right. That's that's just my my you know eyeballing it. So all right, so I made some adjustments. If we can get in the circle, we'll be in good shape. I'm not gonna try and get it too close. Yeah, see that one didn't cycle quite right. What the heck? Yeah. It, the magazine's always just getting in the way. So from it not cycling. That's alright. Yeah few other rounds in here let's uh load this puppy up the sooner we can get this one sighted in the sooner i can bring out the big gun so let's go ahead let me adjust my shooting rest a little bit too bad boy up there we go that's nice I like that I like that oh it helped if I charged it there we go that was weird It like bump fired that was weird that was really strange either way i think that's pretty good right there so let's go ahead and 
run back down there, take a look at it. All right, here we are. After my adjustments, I mean, this is it right here. You know, these these are all the old holes there, but you can see, we'll get close. Everything is right there. In the center, I had a couple, couple flyers over there that might've been from when it like bump fired a little bit. But hey, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and grab the AR. All right, so this is, this is my baby right here. So I have a, a box set up down there. Let me turn you all a little bit that way. But uh, yeah, this, this is my baby. I love this thing so much. Let's see, where's my box at? Now I need to bring her down a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah. Looks pretty good right there. Let me zoom out because I don't even know if that hit the box. All right, first three shots. Empty magazine, guns empty. So we'll go ahead and load up a couple more. But let's come down here and see if we actually hit the box. We're just gonna do it in, you know, three three rounds at a time. All right, guys. So all three shots are on the box, as you can see, right there. But they're high and to the left again. So. That's another, that's actually about, I would say, three inches high. So we'll just do, we'll work on the height adjustment first and then go from there. Then see if we need to bring it, you know, left or right or what. But uh, that's pretty much what I guessed is, is gonna be, be the case. But anyway, <sighs> this walking back and forth stuff is, it's rough, it's very rough. All right, we're back at the table. We're gonna turn her down. It was about three inches high, so let's... That's about, that should be pretty, pretty close. Right there. felt pretty good felt pretty good so once again we'll run back load up three more rounds and then we'll just go ahead and check our target all right so I didn't bring you guys down just because like that part's not really all that exciting but I do need to I moved it over to the right because I just did my height adjustment last time but now let's see I need to come about two inches to the right and so that's pretty good right there. Boom. That's a that was a good shot. That was a good shot right there. That one looks pretty good. Two more. I pulled that one a little bit. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I put a rock inside of this box and uh, I just saw a big piece of, piece of that rock uh, just fly out of the box. That was awesome. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna load up three more rounds. We should be either in the hole or pretty close. I'll bring you guys for this one. 
All right, so these are those three rounds that I said were to the to the left that I need to move over. These are that's the first one and the last one, and that's the one that I pulled. So that's the second shot there. But uh, we need to come over about another inch before we're actually in the bullseye. So just need to come over to the right, and it's a little bit more. I might just drop it down just a hair, and uh. I think that'll be good. I don't think I'll need to come back down here. So what I'll do is I'll make those fine little adjustments and then we'll see if we can hit that golf ball. All right, so those last little adjustments, I think did it. So I'm gonna just take the golf ball here and we're just gonna give it a, the old yeet. It's not all the way at the end, but here's, the, here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I don't have much battery life left, but I'm just gonna run down here and set you guys up next to the golf ball. Up here out of the way. Oh. Here, let's uh, maybe this will work. The ground's not very even. So let's go ahead. That looks like it's good. All right, see you in a little bit. I guess that'll do. I have no idea where it went. Ah. I'm tired, guys. Ah. Can't breathe. I'm not built for running. That's for sure. But pretty good shooting, I think. All right, I'm gonna catch my breath. I'll talk to you guys in just a minute. Well guys, I made it back home. My battery ended up dying, so I wasn't able to finish that little clip there at the end. But, you know, pretty good shot, you know. I think we had a really productive morning so far. Now, I need to do some yard work. My weeds are getting a little out of control. I mean, this, we, we had one rain. I mean, these things are just, just ripping. So anyway, oh, I also, I don't know if you guys have seen on the channel yet, but I do have this little boat trailer for the kayak. Um, so now me, Brandon, and whoever else, we can get, you know, just stack up the kayaks on there. I'll probably do some building on there too, and I'll, I'll show you guys that process as well. We'll probably build a couple racks and a little deck and stuff like that. We'll just build that thing into something pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think this is, we're going to wrap it up. Oh, it's, it's so nice in the shade. Ah, anyway. Yeah, if you guys want to see more shooting videos, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what else you want to see. You know, we can do some long range stuff there at the range. We can, uh, you know, do some uh, trap shooting, you know, shoot some clays and stuff like that with shotguns, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I'll definitely bring you guys along for uh, the hunts that are coming up. You know, we'll definitely do some predator hunting in the next, uh, within the next month. Trying, you know, shoot some coyotes, foxes, all that, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, today's a different video, but I do appreciate you guys hanging out. So anyway, I will catch y'all on the next video.